Hi all folks, this is Max from accbohacks.com. So we're gonna go install a new kernel. Um, this is the Silver Needle kernel. Um, it you can overclock it to 1.7 gigahertz. Um, it supports things like CIFS, TUN, JHash3. Um, some little tweaks. Uh, I've got the MIG-G 3D ROM here. You can use it on stock ROM too. Um, anyway, let's go back. Uh, let's go install it real quick. Um, to install it, just go open up ROM manager. Oh, of course, you have to have a rooted ROM. And uh, reboot into recovery. And then we're just going to flash the uh, kernel file and reboot. Um, I'm just showing this. I'm sure most of you know how to do it, but for those who don't know how to do it, um, that's why I'm making this part of it. So go to install zip from SD card, um, choose zip from SD card power button, and choose the silver needer, uh, silver, silver needle dash test five dot zip. Sorry, I had, didn't have enough coffee yet. And go to yes and hit the power button, and it should install in seconds, and that's done. We go back, uh, reboot system now. Cross our fingers. Um, Hope that the kernel overclocking kernel didn't break your 3D. Probably won't. Um, and let's see if we can get it all the way to 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, I had that review of the RC Mix kernel, which I, I was only is supposed to be able to go to almost 2 gigahertz, but I could only get it to actually go up uh, to 1.5, 1 1.6 gigahertz. But hopefully, this one is a lot faster. And uh, Hmm. Oh, do it. <clears throat> By the way, I went to um, Ross the other day. I bought this huge, it's huge, look at that. It's a huge coffee cup. It fits like three cups of coffee. Only $2.99. Highly recommend it. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll be back when this boots up. It seems like it's taking a little bit. I'm going to go have a smoke. Well, actually, you know what? It's just booted up, so I might just keep on going here. Um, so, I've got the new kernel it booted up on my MIG G ROM, 3D ROM. And uh, let's go overclock it. I've got the Set CPU app installed. If you don't have it, um, you can download it uh, off the Set CPU site for free, or you can buy it on the market. Um, just install it. Um, so, I'm going to run my Set CPU app. And. Uh, so now I can go 1.72 and if you want to test out if it's actually going put it on performance there I've got it to 1.728 gigahertz from 1.2 gigahertz um, stock that's dual core that's almost 3.5 gigahertz total right and let me run Limpack I was getting at 1.516 with the other uh, RC mix kernel, I was getting about um, 80, I think, near 80. Um, but let's see if we can go higher. I don't have anything sinking. Yeah, it's much higher, 86. I just, hopefully I can go, go above 85. 85. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm expecting like even more, you know, I know I'm just, I, I want to get it near like 200 or something. That would be really cool. So I got like 83. It's a little bit faster, I guess. And then let me test out uh, Quadrant for you real quick. Now I'm going to go have a sick for seriously because it's going to. Um, OPQR. Yeah, there we go. Run full benchmark. So I'll be back when this is done. Actually, it's going really fast. Maybe I'll just stick around. Nah, I'll be back. Hi all folks, so I'm back and let's see what we get here. I got 1466, that's kind of disappointing. Huh? Um, but, you know, it's, that doesn't, you know, always say everything about it. What you want is overclocked and very stable. Um, this one seems like a good way to overclock your phone. Um, try it out, let me know. Uh, all the files are on this, the links below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to have more stuff. And if you guys want me to review certain ROMs or 
certain hacks, don't forget to leave comments. Um, I do everything for you guys. <laughs> so see you later. Bye.